after and also the terrorists have barricaded the road they flipped card o- cars over lit them on fire so any car that is coming from the party direction has to stop so ronald had to take the car off the road and on the road and we almost flipped and we have no wheels and it was like such a traumatic event while everybody's shooting at us and by miracle ronald was able to maneuver the car and by the cockiness of the terrorist we were not hit and we drove to and we just drove on the road and i saw a square in front of me and by the google maps i saw there is a kibbutz at the um at the square and at the kibbutz was already israeli forces waiting israel is stuck between a hard and a rock place we are trying to help and we are getting like we're shooting our own foot because we perceive as the bad people and i want to say one more thing i emphasize that there were many civilians civilians who on their day to day life work on the land of israel and they they get get paid and paychecks and everything and they were the ones who raped the women and burning them alive who raped the babies and to every citizen of that of Gaza who did that has a mother has a sister has his family and they all rooting for him but you can hear Hamas Hamas recorded their actions they we have records that they are want to rape they were sent here to rape kill and murder they say it as to dirty to dirty the israeli the jewish girls I wanted to ask you also had you uh, when you guys were trying to get away did you see any people being um abducted um we heard a lot of screaming yelling and pushing that's basically towards the entire world especially the western world like europe us um to all the lgbtqi community i'm an ally israel is an ally we host in tel aviv one of the biggest pride parades in the world the fact that there are people from that community that are stating free palestine means that they don't know a single clue about the conflict because if you think you can walk in gaza when calling yourself they them then you're wrong because you will be shot immediately doesn't matter if you're jewish muslim christian you will be dead to all the social media influencers who wants to make a good buck from the conflict and the free palestine movement is more profitable you think you can walk with your little mini skirt and your deep plunge necklines in gaza without getting shot or raped immediately doesn't matter your religion hamas is a terrorist group and once and I, I don't wish that at all but let me say if if they are able to kill us and abolish the Jew, the the Jewish people of Israel they will come to you they will have no they they wouldn't stop do you think this little country of Israel will be it will be enough for them they would go to US to Europe to other Arab countries other Arab countries do not support Hamas's actions they will come to each and every one of your door they will knock on your door rape your women and murder your wife that's what i have to say